to Jimmy Kimmel Live. I am your guest host tonight, Tracy Ellis Ross. Yeah. I know what you guys are thinking. Really? Another black Jewish female host of Late Night? I mean, you guys, we are everywhere. Everywhere. I'm actually pulling double duty because I'm here now and I was on a new episode of Blackish earlier tonight here on ABC. Yeah. That's right, even in television, a woman has to work two jobs to make the same money as a man. I got more. As a black woman, I'm actually headed to my third job when I finish here. And, you know, I was a little worried I wasn't going to make it here tonight because I slipped and fell at work on Blackish the other day. I did. I fell down. I was walking into the fake kitchen of my fake house, but it had a really real floor. <laughs> and I went down hard. I was Blackish and bluish. <laughs> yeah. I'm still a little bluish. Anyway, if I fall again tonight, Guillermo, you got me? Are you gonna like I, have me and be my like guest host for the guest host of the guest host? Yes, I got I got you, yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, all right. Thank you. Welcome. Guillermo's got me, guys. Uh, Guillermo in to save the day. And since we're gonna be spending a little bit of time together uh, the next hour, I should probably tell you a little bit about myself, in case for some strange reason you don't know me. <laughs> I was born here in Los Angeles. Yeah. My mom's a little singer. She's done a few things. She sang a few songs, made a couple hits, like three decades of them. She's got a few awards, had a couple of kids. I'm one of them. And I am speaking, of course, of my mother, the great Diana Ross. Yeah. Not too shabby, that lady. And my dad is the painter Bob Ross. <laughs> you guys remember him? You remember him? Yep, 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 yep. And that, my friends, is, is how you get hair like this. <laughs> no, 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 Bob Ross is not my dad. Actually, Bob Ellis is my father. And that, that's my dad. I get my sense of humor and my nose from him, see? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my parents deserve a nice round of applause. They did well. OK, I also have a lot of passions. I love me some social media. If you're not following me, get on it. I don't know what you're doing. I also love the show, the show Lock Up Raw. OK, where's the applause on that one? <laughs> and I collect bowls obsessively, obsessively. I have so many bowls, I made a music video about them. <laughs> Wooden bowls, black bowls, pink bowls, turquoise bowls, green bowls, blue bowls, ceramic bowls, ceramic bowls, and some white bowls, white bowls, white bowls, white bowls. I got so many white bowls. Yeah. Basically, the only thing I don't do with bowls is smoke them. <laughs> Are you guys in the holiday spirit yet? <laughs> it is that magical time in Los Angeles when the temperatures dip down to a brisk 84. <laughs> I like to do something a little different during the holidays. Each year, I give people verbal cards. Yeah, I know. You heard me. I actually said verbal cards. I like to look my loved ones in the eye and say whatever I would have written in the card. Um, sh I think I'll show you. Guillermo, can I give you a verbal card? Yeah, sure. OK, this will be something special. Guillermo, thank you. OK. Dearest Guillermo, I'm wishing you the most happy of holiday seasons. And may your new year be prosperous and full of joy. Best wishes, Tracy. Don't go. It's really, it's best to end a verbal card with a curtsy. Do you want to try a verbal card with me? OK. OK, go for All it. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
Dear Tracy, you're so smart, so beautiful, and so nice. I wish you Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, and a Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> For any of you that try this at home, it can be a little bit awkward, but it can also bring you closer together. <laughs> so, um, do you, are you, have you, have, have you done any of your holiday shopping yet? Have you started any of that? No, 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 not yet. No, not yet. Do you know what you're getting for your wife? Uh, not yet either. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's December. You need to get on it. Okay. But I do know that it's a lot of pressure to find the right thing, but I can help you because I truly believe that the best gifts aren't the ones that you buy in a store. They're the ones that you buy on those weird TV commercials you see in the middle of the night. <laughs> so to help all of you lazy shoppers, we've assembled this year's 2017 As Seen on TV gift guide. You are welcome. You struggle. Uh. You strain. You're so far away. Just bending over to put on your socks is brutally painful every day. Well, not anymore. Introducing Sock Slider, the pain-free, no-bend-over way to comfortably put on your socks every day. Introducing Easy Makeup Glasses, the clever single-lens eyeglasses that magnify each eye to apply and swings out of the way so you can have flawless makeup every day. Hush Me is a personal acoustic device that protects speech privacy and open space and environments by using exclusive passive voice suppression and active voice masking technology. Introducing Wonder Bible, the incredible Bible that speaks. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Kids love Wonder Bible. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Diamonds are one of the hardest surfaces on earth. This one is worth $25,000, but it's worthless if you're trying to cut a tomato. That's why we created Yoshi Pro Diamond Edition Knives. Meet Smalt. It's a smart salt dispenser. Shake, pinch, or pour, all using your smartphone. Well, ski poles are high-performance ski poles with an integrated flask in the cavity of the pole. Each pole holds about eight ounces. That means you're getting a pint per pair of poles. We find it increasingly hard to put away our phones. Introducing Phone Cell. Put up to four phones in one box, set the timer, and enjoy a period without constant distraction. Once it's locked, you'll have to wait until the set time is over. Introducing Armor Brush, a revolutionary new toothbrush that brushes your teeth automatically in just 10 seconds. The toothpaste foam is delivered through the mouthpiece directly to your teeth. The Tech Bat combines the best features of our super bright lights, but also has the heft and strength of military grade aluminum alloy for the ultimate in personal protection. Okay, go. Great job, Annie. that has alcohol coming out of it for no reason. I'm just gonna take it to all my holiday parties. Do you guys think it's gonna work with wine in it? <laughs> yeah, okay. So by the way, if you are planning to go to a holiday party this year, which many of you are, you should pay attention to this report that I saw in the news last night. With revelations of sexual harassment allegations and the subsequent firing of multiple high-profile men, there are questions about how companies are going to handle their yearly Christmas parties this month. The alcohol tends to flow, people let down their guard, and can forget they're at a work function. Criminal defense lawyer Randy Zellin says his best advice to companies? Have people monitoring the party. Eyes open, ears open, don't wait if you see a situation jump in immediately thank you thank you <laughs> thank you mr magoo that was very helpful if you see something say something <laughs> and that reminds me as a woman with a big platform like this there is something i wanted to talk about tonight and that's the hollywood sexual harassment scandal first of all let's start with the fact that it isn't a sex scandal it isn't a Hollywood scandal. It isn't even a scandal. It is a systemic problem about the abuse of power that takes place across all industries and has enabled a culture of inequity to persist for far too long. Over the past few months, yes, over the past few months, countless brave women have come forward to share their experiences. And while I'm not totally surprised by these stories, 
it seems like quite a few men are. Treating another human being with respect isn't complicated, but it seems a bit confusing for a lot of men out there. So, I wrote a book. <laughs> It's kind of like a children's book <laughs> for men that is going to make this really simple and just bring it back to the basics. Do you guys want me to read it? Yeah. So, listen up, fellas. Get to the first page. There is a guy with 10 long fingers. Creepy glares and hugs that linger. If you're a woman, you're not a fan. I speak, of course, of the handsy man. <laughs> handsy man, based on the news, you seem to be a bit confused. Listen, and I'll explain to you all the things you may not do. <laughs> You may not compliment my butt. You may not call me ho or slut. And even if you're stoned or drunk, do not expose me to your junk. <laughs> and if I am your employee, don't rest your hand upon my knee. No, I won't sit on your lap. I shouldn't have to say this crap. <laughs> You cannot smell my hair, you creep, or grab my boobs while I'm asleep. I do not want a back massage. Did you follow me into the parking garage? <laughs> I do not like you, handsy man. You're not allowed to touch my can. Not on a plane, not on a train, not on your boat, not in a moat. <laughs> not in a tree, not by the sea, not in your mansion. Help me, Chris Hansen! <laughs> So, handsy man, if you're still confused whether your behavior will be excused, I'll say it clearly, nice and slow. If she doesn't consent, the answer is no. one of a 67 part series. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below and good things will happen forever.